Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Brickstar, your home for a disorganized basement that everything I do just makes it worse. So down here, I'm going to do an update of what's been going on. I working on moving the BrickLink store and it's just, uh, yeah, it's not going according to plan, but uh, when does anything ever go according to plan down here? Uh, so yeah, let me just show you what's been going on and how I almost burnt down the basement too, apparently. So let's get to it. So this area, I've been just moving boxes. This, this has just become a big store room right now. And uh, I've been moving containers from the other side of the, the basement. Uh, it's gotten dark over here. And what happened was I was smelling something when I would come down to the basement. And it was bugging me because it smelled like something was burning, which you don't want. But it, it was like, is it, I'm like, is it my, is it the AC? And I'm just thinking I'm smelling it. Well, you notice that light's not on. <laughs> so, so, um, I noticed one of the bulbs, so this, this light has LED bulbs in it, and I noticed one of them was out, and I went up there and I touched the fixture, and the fixture was hot, which shouldn't be. And this is why it was hot. Yeah, it was melting, literally melting. Uh, so these fixtures are over 20 years old, and they're going to be thrown away soon. So that could have been real bad. So I got that light fixture disconnected for now, and I'm just going to have to replace all the others. I'm going to get those LED lights that we saw at um, Lowe's. Went to Lowe's and saw it. So I've been moving. That's all train track. Uh, the old vintage train track and all these containers there. Um, I moved from the other side. Look, the table's become a catch-all again. Uh, I found all my Moon Knight comic books, which uh, those actually are worth something now, so I'm going to be uh, selling those on eBay. I'm pretty sure these will sell. I don't know what they'll sell for, uh, but um, if you've seen the uh, Moon Knight TV show, uh, there's the three guys that is Moon Knight. never really realized it was the same guy because I never read the comic book. <laughs> but that's, yeah... That's what, if you've seen the TV show, you know you know who they are, I think. One of them's Mark Spector. I can't remember the other name. So these shelves, this is over here near the train table. I removed everything that's here. That's where I had all the, the train track and some other things. I had my Lego trains. So they're in the other room now. I'm putting my slot car stuff here for now, uh, temporarily. So this is where all the slot car stuff was. I almost got that shelf completely emptied. I got a couple of the Carrera things to go. I got some Marble Run stuff. And then the, this, is the, this is the only comic books left that I keep. They're in these uh, boxes here, which um, my son was wanting to read some of them. So I'm going to, I got to figure out where I'm going to put these. Uh, I don't want to put them with the other comic books. So I don't want to get them mixed up. So I'm still working on getting this where I can move it. I think what I'm going to do is just move it to the other side of the room for now. And so I can free this wall. Because if I free this and move these, all these things here, then I can just go ahead and start putting the stack on, on there. And then also I can build this other row, even though these comic books may be over here. And just work on getting these things on eBay, putting them in the uh, a bonfire, whatever I need to do to get rid of this stuff. I found my Dora thing. Is the backpack delicious? It's Lego. Can I get this basement clean? I don't think so. I love this piece. Not that much, though. Charlie, you like the, the space you got down here now? What do you think? Should mention, it probably won't be available by the time this video posts, but uh, Amazon had some acro mills marked down to about $31. It's not any one of these. This is 60 drawer. That's the 4 times 20 drawer. They got the 40 drawers, which is a combination of the big drawers and the small drawers. 
uh, for $31. Thank you to Mardi Gras Man who um, shared that link with me. So I'm going to order, I ordered four more of those. Uh, so yeah, we're going to expand the Acro Mills portion. And these are a different size than these and the stack ons. So coming back over here, I got this cleared out since the, I was last over here a minute ago. <laughs> Went ahead and cleared it off. So the only thing left is uh, the comic books from my personal collection. This is all that is my personal collection. There actually are some, oops, there's books in here as well. Uh, and I, this is how I store my comic books, similar to how I'm storing my Lego instructions. Uh, this is Gru the Wanderer. I have a complete collection of Gru the Wanderer through about 2010. I don't know what Sergio's done in the last, I don't know, 12 years. I think there might be a few things I've gotten in the last 12 years. But I don't keep up with uh, comic book news, so it's hard for me to know what's out there. What are this Magnus Robot Fighter? Uh, that's the other title that I collect. Uh, and I don't know much of what's happened since uh, the the uh, Valiant era, era or error, however you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, this is how I store all my or most of my collectible comic books are like. Oh, look at this! We got Bill and Ted. Ah, I forgot I kept these. <laughs> I'm glad I kept these. <laughs> it's my Bill and Ted comic book collection. And this is my Dominique Wilkins collection. These are all my trading cards that have Dominique Wilkins. There's the basketball signed by Dominique and several of the Hawks from 1983, I think it's his rookie year. Went to a game. Let me see if I can get this thing out of here. So I went to a game, I think they were playing Seattle. My brother-in-law took me, and that's Wes Matthews. There's, is that Dominique? That's yeah, Dominique right there. There's the Stinger, uh, Glenn, um, Mike Glenn, is that his name? The Stinger, we always call him the Stinger. Um, boy, I don't even know some of these names now. There's Eddie Johnson, Fast Eddie, Rory Sparrow, I got a lot of good signatures. I think Rudy Macklin. Oh, I hate touching this thing. Yeah, Rudy Macklin. Keith Edmondson. There's Dominic. I'll put Dominic like that. Um, it's authentic because I. It was uh, my ball. Did they sign? It's, it was Wendy's. Wendy's hamburger official hamburger of the Atlanta Hawks. So yeah, this is my signed Dominic Wilkins ball from his rookie year. Boy, thing's gotten some wear on it. In fact, this thing was not stored in a protective case. It was actually on my shelf uh, all my teenage and college years. I just, uh, and now I've got it in this protective container. Yeah, this is more Gru comic books. Uh, what are these? Ah, this is the classic. Uh, the 1960s Magnus, I have the complete collection. And then there's uh, the Valiant ones as well. I think this must be the latter portion of the Mag. I love this artwork. Yeah, here's the gold key Magnus robot fighter. Gotta love it. <laughs> yeah. I love these comic books. Just love the art. Russ Manning, he's the one that did these. Just brilliant artwork on these. 1960s classic. More Gru appearances. Gru the Wanderer. It's a very funny comic book. So I got tons of these different uh, volumes of Gru the Wanderer. Is that my Pac-Man roller coaster? <laughs> it's one of the few that I've let us, the Pac-Man one, still assembled. It's a Kinex thing. Uh oh, Lego's making a new roller coaster. Anybody seen the video of Lego's? Uh, I said Lego's. Lego's roller coaster double loop. This is a double loop. <laughs> Kinex. Uh, the uh, Lego one, if you watch the video, it never goes through the top loop. 
That's what they might be. Bricks pointed that out when you watch the video. Uh, when you see the complete thing, now when they do it with this angle, you see it go through the loop. But when it's the full angle, it's like teleports from here to here. Go watch that video from Lego. And the other things I collect are uh, Dilbert books and the complete Calvin and Hobbes. Uh, when they compiled these things, I, there's another one in here that's the, the hardbound. Uh, but yeah, I love Calvin and Hobbes and Dilbert. I think some of these I use tissue paper to mark uh, particular comics that I like. I wonder why I use tissue paper. Now there's my the hardbound Dilbert, 20 years of Dilbert, and the hardbound Calvin and Hobbes. I've never opened those. <laughs> I mean, basically most all of the comic books were in the other books, but I think there's a couple of special things in there. I guess I uh, never opened them. Probably worth less than when I bought them years ago. Okay, I think this is the one I was looking for. Yes, so uh, my son was wanting to read Magnus Robot Fighter. So these are the Rust Manning ones collected into these hardbound volumes. I was going to let them read those, although I like the Valiant ones. I don't know. I can't remember. I got a collected one in one of these. I don't know where it is. But yeah, these are the hardbound Dark Horse archives of the, the Rust Mini Magnus. I don't know. Is it, is it as good as the Lego one? <laughs> Probably not. Waka waka waka. Yeah, I collect roller coasters if you didn't know. Uh oh, he's struggling there. I think I got this thing built. Something's going on. Oh, come on. Yeah, I gotta fix this. Charlie's been rubbing up on it. All right, so that section is cleared. So now we'll, all we got is these boxes to move. Oh boy. So yes, I'm trying to not have a big mess down here. And I know a lot of this wasn't Lego uh, related. I know a lot of you come here for the Lego content, but I don't just collect Lego, sadly. <laughs> I know some of you, but maybe that's all you collect is Lego. But I think most people tend to dabble into other things as well. And uh, I just dabble a little bit too much in other things. Uh, connects roller coasters. HO scale trains, N scale trains, G scale trains, H O scale trains, slot cars, slot cars and trains, comic books. <laughs> what, what, what am I leaving out? I know I'm leaving something off, off of here. But I mean, we've got all these slot cars and train sets. Um, the Lego. I have Mega Blocks. I have Connects. Oh, the, the, the next biggest thing in my whole collection is uh, Thomas the tank engine. So we have Thomas Wooden Railway, Trackmaster, Take and Play, everything. I mean, it's just uh, a crazy amount of stuff. That's what's on this wall over here is Thomas and Friends, and it goes all the way around the corner. You've seen that in other videos if you've watched uh, a lot of my videos. So it's just, it's a problem. Uh, I have Coaster Dynamics roller coasters. Yeah, so I think any one of those hobbies it could take up the whole basement. And yet I'm trying to do all of them at once. And that's not a good idea. So we're going to work on consolidating things. So get that BrickLink store that's down there. Put it down here. And then start working on organizing everything else. So it's been nice to work on clearing out a portion of the basement. And I know it probably doesn't look like a big change from earlier in the week uh, when I did this. But it's a lot of work moving boxes but I'm glad that I've got it down to where it's pretty much just the comic book boxes now. And I can go through and find things that I want to sell that uh, actually are worth something now. It's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for coming along as I do another update of the, the basement, uh, which uh, continues uh, to take up a lot of my time. But I hope you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you want to see more and see what this looks like when I get done. See ya. Will I ever be done? Probably not.